Minister Kali Schlettwein, was quoted in a weekly newspaper questioning the timing of the NBC's austerity measures in view of the national and presidential elections pending uh, the uh, that will be held at the end of November. Now to that, the NBC's Director General said its board had no alternative but to act as it would otherwise be held responsible if the NBC goes under. Joining us now on the line is Sven Timmer, the NBC board chairperson, to talk about this and other issues related to the NBC. Good evening, sir. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, good, uh, good evening. Now, the Vintage Observer, I'm sure you have seen it in its most recent edition, does not really paint a good picture of the relationship between the NBC and the Minister of Finance. The minister was quoted, among other things, uh, saying the corporation fails to provide clean audits, that it does not account for its spending and yet wants a bailout. How do you respond to that? Yeah, first of all, I must honestly tell you I'm very surprised by that comment. Uh, firstly, we have Tyler CE working to provide a clean audit, and uh, even debts, um, uh, revenue ta uh, taxes that date back 20 years ago have not been resolved despite many, many requests. And this will, is the basis of uh, providing a clean audit. So that's the first thing. The second thing, the bailout. A bailout is um, only happening if there is an adequate plan where expenses and income do not meet, meet the plan. Now, in this case, um, non-payment um, non of uh, income uh, causing the shortfall in, in the funding. So a bailout, I can't understand that word at this very moment. Now, the minister also said the NBC is failing to provide proper cash flow projections while calling and I'm quoting him for a bailout. How can we then expect assistance, a lot of people are saying, from the Treasury if we are not seen to be doing our part? Yeah, it's a, once again a very surprising comment because uh, I can provide you a um, sequence of uh, documents which over the last up to six, eight years provided the information that the, 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 the current cash flow is not meeting um, the obligation the um, Institute has. And the cash flows were provided whenever they were they are provided at the beginning of every fiscal year. And if, if we need to, we can provide the proof. So are you saying, Mr. Sven Thieme, that um, even though Treasury has been funding the NBC, um, uh, this, but, but the argument is the situation has not shown any improvement, what exactly will it take uh, to have the situation improved? It is a collective um, uh, uh, cooperation between all ministries involved. Our ministry, our um, Ministry of Information Technology and uh, Communication, we are working extremely closely together to find a solution going forward. It's not the first time. Um, with the Winter Country Club, we have, under the uh, um, leadership of the Prime Minister at that time, together with the various ministers, we're able to uh, find solutions to every single thing. This has not been taking place despite many requests. Now, what is also questioned was the timing of the austerity measures uh, called for, particularly uh, given that the, uh, the national and presidential elections are upcoming. How do you respond to that? Yeah, that's again a very interesting comment. We've been praised um, not to do it just before last weekend's meetings, um, the SWAPI meeting, uh, and then to allow it sufficient time. So it's it's not it's got nothing to do with this at all. We have done done our utmost to find a time um, that allows plenty of time to the elections. I think there are 24 hours in a day and going to resolve many many things. To, very quickly overnight, if their will is there. Now, what is the state of government subsidy to the NBC? According to my understanding, even that allocated subsidy that the government, uh, you know, is supposed to give to the NBC has not been forthcoming. Can you confirm that? Absolutely right. Even on the monthly allocation, we are short 26 million at the moment, and that's on the cut budget, with, which was unilaterally decided, and um, that is even more concerning. Now, there is always this comparison, Mr. Thieme, being made between 
in Namibia and the NBC with so many accusations, especially on, on Facebook, that we constantly need to be bailed out. Correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. Timo, but is can that comparison really be made between Air Namibia and the NBC, especially if you look at which one is a commercially driven business and, and the kind of mandate that the NBC is responsible for carrying out? That's absolutely the right question to ask because the NBC um, is driven by a mandate to provide uh, information to the nation of Namibia. Every single person has the right to information in terms of the Constitution, meaning that we have to supply information in many, many areas which are very sparsely populated and therefore, from a commercial point of view, may not make lots of sense. Secondly, um, you would, if you would like to compare that, if you ask in Namibia to fly to every single town in Namibia, I would like to see what the cost is. Now, and thirdly, um, broadcasters, national broadcasters in many, many uh, countries in the world uh, are funded anyway by government and do not even require any um, license fees. In Namibia, our license fees are $204 a year, which has been the same over more than 15 years. Absolutely right. The question is um, uh, well asked. This is not a commercial entity unless we change the mandate. And if that mandate changes, I'm most well, our board most welcome then a change in the mandate. And finally, Mr. Tima, the minister suggested that the, the way the NBC executes its mandate is unsustainable. Your reaction? Yeah, I mean, the way it executes uh, is a question about exec the word of execution. The, the question is the mandate the right thing. And then if, you, if the mandate is that what we have, then the funding is insufficient. So it's not about execution. It's about what is the mandate. And according to that, you have to have funds to execute the mandate. And that's the point. Mr. Tima, I, just, I, I do, though, want to just finally squeeze in this question. It's been quite a couple of days in terms of our broadcast here on NBC, and not only in television but in radio, that we end our broadcast at 9 o'clock and resume at 7 o'clock in the morning to a lot of uh, members of the public out there and even NBC employees. Um, are you hopeful that the situation or the status quo would uh, change any time soon? Absolutely. I'm a, you know, I'm a real Namibian. I have, uh, we have overcome so many, uh, we've come, overcome so many challenges and, uh, and issues. I have absolutely the hope and that we, uh, with uh, wise minds, find a way of uh, turning the situation around. But this takes willing people to get around the table and to understand, even at the moment, we could be spending money to reduce cost. That willingness does not exist. So we probably overspending due to non-spending up to 100 million a year. So a, although it's not a commercial entity, this, by spending money, we could be reducing many, many money, lots of money um, to lessen the burden on our national budget. NBC Board Chairperson Sven Tima, thank you so much, sir, for talking to us. Thank you also.